air tables are a porous plate where air seeps up from pressurized from underneath and you can float thin objects on it, typically thin discs. They're a great museum toy. And in this case, they were looking at textured surfaces where you can arrange for these floating objects to propel themselves in a particular direction. I just thought this was a cute experiment and I was going to try and explain a bit of it. And if you texture the air table, you find that the flow along the grooves of the texture drags the particles along and it drags it away from the arrow head. On the other hand, if this floating body has the herringbone textured surface on it, then some pressure forces win and they push it in the direction of the arrow. So there's the thing that hooked me on interest. <laughs> Why does it go one way in one case and the other way in the other case? The immediate explanation, naive explanation, is to say Newton's third law of reaction and reaction. And that's not quite right in fluid mechanics because there's a, a rocket effect. So you can come to the great conclusion that the acceleration sideways is equal to the acceleration of gravity multiplied by the aspect ratio, the height of the groove divided by the length of the groove. Simple as that, except multiplied by a number between half and two thirds that depends on some harder mathematics or calculation. Who cares about that?